Hey, Nancy, how are you girls scheduled for work this afternoon? Oh, we've got plenty to keep us busy, Mr. Murphy. Why? Well, the accounting department wants a cost analysis report so they can work on it tonight. Uh, I've got a few things to work out before I can give it to you for typing, but I thought you and the girls could split it up and get it to me this afternoon. Well, if we could get to it pretty soon, we could. It, well, it's 2 o'clock right now, and it's going to be at least a two-hour job with all of us working on it. Well, good. I'll have it for you in about an hour. Oh, now, say, there may be a few minutes of overtime involved. Oh, guys, that's right. This is a night you girls bowl, isn't it? Yeah. And I imagine you want to get away on time. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll get right on it and have it to you as soon as I can, okay? Okay, Mr. Murphy. John, you have a minute? Oh, gee, Dan, I'm awful busy. What's on your mind? Well, look, I've got to have some cost estimates on these new jobs for the old man right away. Fact is, he says he's got to have them by tomorrow. He thought you could help. Me? Oh, why does everything have to happen all at once? Oh, well, okay, I guess I can spare you a few minutes. Come on in, huh? Stay you here, how close I came to getting a hole in one. Oh. Last time. John, if we convert the upper structure of the chassis to plastic, that may save considerably on the cost. As a matter of fact, we had them do that with one of the models in the experimental stage and showed it to the sales department. How'd they like it? Come in. Well, they raved. Oh, she's really quite a model, John. Where do you see her? She's got the prettiest shape you've ever seen. Yes, Nancy. It's a report, Mr. Murphy. If we don't get to them pretty soon, we'll never get them out in time. Golly, it's 2.30 already. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'll get them out in just a little while. Dan, I've got to get those cost reports out ready for the girls. Well, John, there are just a couple of other items I need to check with you. Believe me, the old man's hot on this one. How about tonight? Oh, I'd like to, Dan, but I can't. I've got to go to a company auditor's meeting. Tonight. Well, look, let me just check this one other alternate on the drawing right now. It'll only take a minute, and then tomorrow, why, we can wind it up. <laughs> never going to get that report done and get to the bowling alley on time. What are they talking about in there that's so important? Women, naturally. When I went in there to ask him about it, he and Dan Tobin were talking about some model with the prettiest shape in the world. Men. Well, finally. <laughs> Why doesn't he hurry up with that report? He knows we have to get to the alley by 6, and they can't start without it. Well, we'll just have to skip dinner and go right on over there. We'll be lucky to make it even then. Well, that just makes me mad. If he'd given us that report when he said he would, we could have had it half done oh, by now. Here it is, Nancy. Get right on it now, will you, girls? Now, it's all finished, except I'd like to have you check the addition of the figures in this column here, okay? Okay. All right. Why me? He's the one that's supposed to be the expert on figures, from what I heard. Well, come on, girls. Let's get going. Well, girls, looks like everything's coming along all right. I'm real sorry that I got this work out for you so late, but I want you to know I appreciate very much you staying over to do it. Say, uh, Nancy, when you get finished with it, will you uh, put it on Mr. Simmons' desk? He's coming in tonight to study it. Well, I'd, I'd stay and help if there were anything I could do, but... Uh, well, I guess it's in your hands now. Well, good night, girls. See you in the morning. I'm ready for some more. Oh, that. See you in the morning. I'll tell you one thing. It'll be a cold day before I work overtime for him again. Oh, me too. Hello, Murphy. Oh, yes, J.B. Cost figures on the new MX-2? Well, no, they're not quite ready yet, J.B. Tomorrow noon? Saturday? But this is already Friday, J.B., and it's 4 o'clock. But... But... Yes, J.B. They'll be on your desk by noon tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. Nancy, will you and the girls come in here for a minute? Tomorrow. 
girls, Mr. Brewster just called, and he wants a cost report on that new MX-2 by tomorrow noon. So I'll finish the figures tonight and tomorrow morning, but I'm going to have to have somebody come in to type it up. So who's going to volunteer? Oh, that's right, Joan, you're out. You start your vacation tonight, don't you? Yes, Mr. Murphy. All right, Nancy, it's up to either you or Alice. Well, gosh, Mr. Murphy, I'd really like to help you, but, uh, well, Jack and I already have reservations down at the lake for the weekend. And my mother-in-law is coming in town, so I couldn't possibly come in. Now, look here. Somebody's going to come in here. Mr. Brewster wants that report, and he's going to get it. Now, how about some cooperation around here? Well? Well, Mr. Murphy, we don't think it's fair of you to ask us to work overtime like this without some sort of notice. We, we feel that cooperation works both ways. Well, of course it does. What are you talking about? Well, we had to miss our bowling meeting a couple of weeks ago because of the last monthly report. Oh, I'll be... I explained to you that it was urgent business that delayed those figures, and I told you I was sorry. What else do you want me to do? Well, we just feel that you might have made some special effort to see that we got the figures in time so that we wouldn't have had to work late. Alice, I did my best to get them to you on time. I thought I could ask a little sacrifice every now and then. I don't ask too much of you girls. Sacrifices? You left at five, and we were the ones who were left to finish with the work. And after you spent all afternoon talking about women and... Women? What are you talking about? Now, you girls look here. My leaving had nothing to do about delaying that report. I don't know why I can't get some cooperation around here. Cooperation? How far do you want us to cooperate? You're the one who went home, and we're the ones that stayed and worked. Alice. What do you think cooperation is? Well, 